This video shows how to replace the receiver logic board in your garage door opener. Always wear gloves and eye protection when working around the battery compartment. Before you start, unplug the garage door opener. If your garage door opener has a battery, it needs to be disconnected. Remove the screw and take off the battery cover. Disconnect the leads to the battery. Open the other light lens. Remove the light bulb and set it aside. Disconnect the wires from the quick connect terminals by pushing in each tab with a flathead screwdriver and pulling the wire out. Take off the end panel of the garage door opener by removing the four screws, one near each corner. Unplug the wire harnesses from the logic board. Remove the old board from the end panel by taking out the two screws. Release the two clips. Lift out the board and pull the antennas out of the end panel. To avoid damaging your new logic board, make sure you don't touch any of the printed circuits when you're installing it. Install the new board by snapping it into the clips, feeding the antenna wires through the holes, and fastening the board with the two screws. Carefully connect the wire harnesses to the new board. Put the end panel back on the garage door opener. To maintain your warranty, put the new label over the existing one on the end panel. Reconnect the door control and safety sensor wires. Replace the light bulb and close the light lens. Reconnect the leads to the battery, replace the battery compartment cover, and close the light lens. Make sure that the antenna wires are hanging straight down. Plug in the garage door opener. Your new receiver logic board is now installed. Before operating your garage door opener, you'll need to program the travel and test the safety system. 